What's up, cycling fanatics? I'm sorry, I had to make fun of you. I'm sorry, man, but it's just so funny. All right, we're here today talking about five things you need, one, two, three, four, five things you need to get on Zwift on a budget, the cheapest way to do it, but still have an awesome setup. I've tried desk in the middle, desk on the side, desk in the front, small TV, big TV, iPad, computer, phone. And right now, the way I have it set up is the best I've had it set up. And it's not expensive, which is amazing. So let's get into it. I'm gonna show you what I got going on here. Hope you guys get some value out of this. Hope you like the video. Let's get into it. Let me show you what I got here. First and most important thing you're gonna need is a smart trainer. I have the kicker and the Neo. This is gonna be the most expensive part, but I'm gonna put some trainers up here. You can get them at a reasonable price. You can spend a little extra money on a rubber floor like I have here or a mat not needed you will need to get yourself a block this is a cyclops block you will need to get one of those my kid left his uh flashlight in there it looks like or you can get a less expensive one like this or you could put it on a couple books number three and this is my favorite setup is having the bike pushed up to this desk we used to have this desk in between the bikes but I love this setup more. What about you? How do you feel about it? We can have our TVs up here. And you just put out all your stuff. I mean, it works in between here well as well. I mean, you don't have a lot of room on this side to unclip or gotcha. it kind of feels a little tight. And being really close. This is the best part about the, the desk is you have all the room. Well, it's really a table. You have all the room you need. You got a drawer there. You have the tissues for after when you lose a Zwift race. <laughs> but you have this big TV and you're nice and close to it. That's what really helps. And this TV is 50 inches. I bought it for 500 bucks like eight years ago. I would recommend trying to find one second hand. I'll show, put some links up here. Show you how cheap you can find a used TV. And then the last thing you need is a way to hook Swift up, and that's the Mr. Apple TV. I think that's the cheapest way to do it, unless you get yourself an iPad, or you can use it an existing computer. So what do you think? <laughs> what do I think about our setup? Yeah. So you got anything to add to our nice little setup? Uh, I ha think just having a little stack of towels nearby. We always have a little stack of fresh towels, so that's easy. It's the worst, you get on the bike, you start sweating, and you're like, oh, where's my yeah. towel? And you gotta go get one, so having some towels handy. I like to sometimes just keep an extra bottle down here so I can run to the closest tap to get water. Yeah. Oh, and we have our fan here, our remote oh, fan. That's, yeah, that's a must have. So we have our remote, and then we turn the fan on. Boom, there she goes. Short and sweet today, guys. Five essentials that you need to get on Zwift on a budget. We don't want to be spending money on stuff we don't need to spend our money on. Hope this video helped you. Hoped you got some value out of it. If you did, please consider subscribing. If you liked it, please like it. Please leave a comment. Tell me what you think. I got more videos coming, at least weekly, once, at least once a week on lots of cycling, everything to do with cycling, gear, bikes, workouts. Check out some of my other videos. But first, before we end this video, what does the wife have to say? Kudos to wifey, Kudos. you know, I'm the only reason you can ride a bike so much. And I ride my bike too much. Not too much, but, but I love it. I think that's it, guys. All right, we will catch you on the next video.